man was not revolting against himself and against God. Praise the name of the Lord. Man was revolting against himself. He was not aware of his environment. He knew what to do at any time, depending on what he wanted to do. So you would say that that was another season of man. Man was conscious of his environment, isn't he? He was not conscious of his environment. So we have identified two seasons of man. Is that correct? He was in the garden, so he was innocent of his surrounding, isn't he? The second one he was out of the garden. He was fully aware of his surrounding. He decided what he wanted to do, so he was led by his conscience. His conscience was so powerful, so that was another season of man. Praise the name of the Lord. When that season of man he got to a point that the season, the manipulation and everything, the wickedness and the consciousness was so great that God was angry. The creation of man made God was angry. And God found somebody, found a righteous man in who? Noah. He found a righteous man in who? In Noah. And told Noah, and through you make a nation. So you the heart and give you one of the descriptions. And God will fight and be married. Apart from those who are found in the earth. Is that correct? So that's when God, the, the flood was what ended the second season of man. Hello? Can you follow me? Now, the third season of man was when Noah, the, the flood was ended, and Noah was meant to take charge. Let God says, what increase? Sin 
increase. That came to the fourth season of man. That fourth season of man is the season arising from the call of Abraham. Because when God called Abraham, God was going to establish a new species from Abraham. You know, God starts to say New Testament and Old Testament. When you want to look at that, the Old Testament Adam will start from when Abraham was called. Because the call of Abraham, the promise that was made to Abraham, brought about a nation called the Jews. It's this is it. So that was the first one. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when the Jews went into Exa, the Jews went into Exa and they came God that promise he made to them that was going to give them the land of him to Abraham. That brought them out of when they stepped out of Egypt and entered Canaan. The dispensation of promise was ended. It became the dispensation of the Lord. Because in the in Canaan, the land of Canaan, the land of promise, what happened? God gave them laws. So actually, the Old Testament is actually a testament that uh, when David was talking to Goliath, you must circumcise Philistine, meaning that you do not join the covenant, you are not a covenant law child. In what was the covenant? The covenant was made up to Abraham for the Jewish people. So when you talk about the old and the new covenant, you are actually talking about the covenant by the first king and the covenant by grace. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't want to really run this up so that I will start defending, but I want to give you the critical system so that you will understand when we are having this conversation to situate it properly. So we have found how many seasons now? We are in the season of the law. The season of the law was the dispensation that Jesus lived and it ended when Jesus died. Did you hear me? What did I say? It ended when Jesus did what? When he died, then the new, the dispensation of grace, which is the church we are in, started when Jesus was here. Because don't forget, in Hebrews chapter 9, it is the death of the testator that makes an end to his will is now available. Isn't it? Like I know better that until the testator dies, there is the testament is not yet over. So when the testator died, Jesus died, he died in me and preached in the old dispensation of the law. Glory to God. Are you following me? So how many dispensations are those? The sixth one is the dispensation of grace. That is where we belong. Tell somebody say that is where we belong. We did this different times. We did this different times. There are sub seasons. Are you really there are what? Sub seasons. You can go to the scripture. What happened? The first three seasons happened between Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 5. From Genesis chapter 6, when God started dealing with the Noah and all of them until 11, when the scandal of the Eleven talks about the power of Babel, isn't it? And all of that. So God was preparing all of those things for the one that was slain from the foundation of the earth. And we think every time and every season, there are all sub seasons. Different things happen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the great season that we belong came into the fact when Jesus rose again. Acts chapter 2. Praise the name of the Lord. So let me read this. Let's not say, Pastor, just talk about this. I will be my scripture and I will know. You will know what to do from there next week. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we celebrate the Lord this morning?
get the let's say uh, start time. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Man of God, I'm sorry that uh, I need to go this out. God wants the church. He dictates what should be done. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, get yeah, very the first order of apostle ordinances of divine service. And uh, what this sanctuary is the first God. For there was a tabernacle made. The first heaven was a candlestick and these are the characteristics of what happened during the first one and go on, go on breaking. And after the second day, what go on, go on. Now you discover that most times you will discover that some of the things that were done in this season, that the season of the law, the season of the law, when the children of Israel had left Egypt and came into the promised land, the God gave them rules and revelations of what the law should be done. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. What the law should be done. And today, the problem the dispensation of grace has is wanting to go back and practice those things. That political law is no longer valid. Tell someone that political law. Can you speak to say that political law is no longer valid? Can you hear that? Imagine that in 2024, now, Is open to what about six months. Before now, the university system runs for the curriculum on B months, basic minimum academic standard. But right now, it's not six months. It is called a top curriculum minimum academic work standard. So if you be poor and what is designed, there is nas- something percent national content. So if you are of all of this, you graduate from here. There is seventy percent of the content you were taught that were designed to graduate was taught to all microbiologists across the nation. Then the other thirty percent is indigenous to you. Your peculiarity, based on your ability to innovate and bring in what stands you out. So everybody has seventy percent. Everybody peculiar to you thirty percent, isn't it? Now. You now take B mass curriculum and use it to uh, one read it, the content, and come and take uh, 60 months. Are you going to pass? You may say, ah, is that the difference in the much? This is the difference how much. The difference are what? How much? So I am trying to say, if you look at it, please go down quickly, go down quickly, quickly. I like you to okay, go on. Next one, we would have read this thing, but next one, seven. But into the second, when the high priest came on once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the other. That is the characteristics of this dispensation. The Holy Ghost, this signified that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Why? As the first tobacco was yet standing. So the first tobacco had to be put in way. Now give me verse 15. So that this one could get conscious of it. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Who is the mediator? You are now describing Christ. That by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that we are under the first testament. They which are called might receive the promise of what? Eternal inheritance. Next verse. For where a testament is, there must also necessarily be the death of the testator. Verse 17 is the key verse. For a testament is of force after men are what? Dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, this dispensation of the church of Babel is the dispensation of the resurrection of Christ. The death of Christ ended the dispensation of the Lord. We are no longer dead now. We are in the dispensation of resurrection. Say I'm resurrected. Say I'm resurrected in Christ Jesus. I am lifted in Christ Jesus. I am blessed in Christ Jesus. I am healed in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, I am blessed. In Christ Jesus, He's risen and risen.